going on guys welcome back to the channel this is the Vikings garage today I'm bringing to you guys a very cool uh, truck in my opinion this is as far as I'm concerned a limited edition or should I say heritage edition these trucks are like uh, brand new I, I honestly don't I'm not a hundred percent prepared for this video because I'm doing this on the fly um, but I want to say it's close to a hundred thousand dollar truck although this one is slightly used it's a 2020 uh, but it has uh, 11 thousand miles so it's not necessarily all that bad but enough of my gibberish let's take a look outside of this truck shall we It's got the heritage uh, badging going on pretty cool what do you guys think of these wheels i've heard a lot of mixed uh, opinions with these wheels i gotta be honest with you i'm one of them guys that likes them these are in my opinion badass and look at that they're bbs's and they're forged what do you guys think leave me leave me a comment in the section below She's a beauty. Good old 3 URFE. These things are bulletproof. That's really cool. This indentation in the hood. I don't know if the reflection lets you see it, but yeah, this thing is decked out with LED uh, lighting everywhere. Pretty sure these fog lights are LED. Yeah. Those are LED as well. Very nice. What do you guys think? For you, it comes with the Yakima, Yakima. Man, my English is terrible. A roof basket, cage, whatever they call it nowadays. Yeah, these things are pretty badass. Let's take a look at the actual sticker price. Oh, look at that, I was off by, where is it? 89. So it's 89,000. Let's take a look at the trunk, shall we? Power gate. Very nice. I've always liked the this uh, style of uh, door on the on these trucks. What do you guys think? You know, like it opens that way. Actually, the first time I've ever seen this was on a truck that my brother-in-law owned, uh, Volvo. And I gotta say, that was pretty cool. See? I mean, how cool is that? You got like two options. You can open just the top, throw the bags in there, or you can open the bottom as well. I really like it. What What are your thoughts on this uh, style of uh, trunk? You guys are uh, fans? You like it, you don't like it? I personally like it because you got the versatility. Let's take a look inside. Yeah, these things are... Uh, pretty badass in my opinion when it comes to uh, comfort back here you got wood trimming everywhere you know a lot of controls as far as they see heated seats that's that's awesome you got your courtesy light up here obviously your vents in the roof for your AC it's very nice very nice not not that high it's uh the entrance uh, it's pretty easy Yep, and on the inside, I could definitely get used to this. I really enjoy the arrangement of all the buttons here. You obviously have dual climate control. I'm not gonna try to sell you on this truck because I don't know all the features, but clearly, as you can see, the seats are either heated or cooled. Um, yes, sir. I love this uh, feature, heated steering wheel. And of course, being a Land Cruiser, this thing is fully decked out as far as uh, four-wheel drive goes. But let's take a look on the switches on the driver's side, shall we? All right, so as far as the driver's side goes, you have the wood trim in the steering wheel as well. I like the fact that that's stitching is brown. Power mirrors, 
all kinds of parking sensors washer for the the lights that's really cool that's something you see oftentimes in europe um love the cluster you got all the goodies in there yeah man this thing is decked out power rear gate what do we got here let's take a look that's a little looks like a little compartment very interesting oh it's um i believe it's to charge phones huh i do apologize guys that i'm not 100 percent uh, prepare to do the video please forgive me on that it's just it's one of those things i got the opportunity and i wanted to share with you guys so let's see what else is in here oh really cool you got a uh, an additional cup holders there it's very nice something tells me there's something else underneath that isn't there oh there it is wow that is pretty cool it's like a secret compartment to put secret things yeah, I definitely have to include this, guys. The back, backup camera on this thing is uh, insane. Look at that. You get an overview around the car, like from the top, and there's all kinds of things. I mean, you can actually mess around with this. See that? That is wild, man. How many different things you can do with this car. That is so cool. Also up here, of course, you got a whole bunch of other stuff very very cool sos button massive size sunroof very neat so thoughts guys you love this truck you don't like it you think it's too expensive what do you think well i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope i didn't butcher it too much but it, it was too cool of a car to uh, not document it uh, i want to thank you guys for watching as always, don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me and I'll see you on the next one. So as you guys saw, I didn't really have a whole lot of time with that car, but I hope you guys enjoyed the content. There are two cents that I want to put into this that uh, after dwelling on it and thinking about it, honestly, I felt like I had to share my opinion on it. Uh, so number one, uh, I think they dropped the ball with uh, the tires. Uh, being that it was such a sporty type oriented kind of vibe to it, the tire should have been a little uh, more uh, off road off roadish. And the other thing is the front grille. Like, come on, man, you're gonna give this car a nice set of wheels. Uh, you got that old TRD Pro thing going on. Why not change the grille a little? It is a heritage edition after all. Those were not the grills back in the day. Bring that old school grill back, you know, Toyota across. That's my two cents. We all know, I mean, I would have loved to have one. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Why am I kidding? But if I could give my input, give it better tires and uh, a sportier a grill. What do you guys think? I want to know what you guys think on this one. And also, oof, so it's more like three cents. Um... Guys that have a larger family, just a heads up. I'm sure, of, of obviously, when you go to check out the car, you're going to notice this. No third row seating on this one. Just saying. So, yeah. Thank you guys for subscribing. I'll catch you on the next one. And, uh, by the way, I found the problem with the Volkswagen.